Well, good morning. Uh, and I'm in Northern Virginia. I'm not on the Appalachian Trail. And I want to start today with a, a military aphorism that I've mentioned before and probably will mention several times uh, again before this year is out. And that is planning is everything. The plan is nothing. And what military people have meant by that is by going through the process of planning, you find out all the sort of difficult points or what needs to happen first before something can happen a couple weeks later. So let me give you an example uh, from, from my current situation. So uh, as most of you, I think, are aware, uh, the real objective this year is a true hike of the Continental Divide Trail. And my plan has always been to uh, basically get in shape and do several hundred miles, maybe a thousand miles of the AT before I make the leap to the Continental Divide Trail. And I kind of figured that sort of my number would come up for COVID vaccination um, at about this time, you know, maybe sometime in April, which would hit a window whereby I could start at the Mexican border for a northbound transit, uh, which typically for most through hikers in most years is about the middle of April to the end of April. Some people start in early May, depending on the year, depending on the snowpack, that kind of thing. So, so far, all of that planning has done really well. And I've got my trail legs, I've lost weight. Uh, a couple of people have commented, well, how much weight have you lost? Um, or you look like you've lost a lot of weight. Um, and I have now lost 16 pounds since I started uh, down at Amicalola. Um, and I've actually lost about three pounds since I've been home. Because uh, what, and what I know from experience is that uh, when I stop hiking, even for a few days, um, the swelling throughout my body will go down. And so I will lose a few pounds, even though I'm eating hearty meals. So I expect that to continue a little bit. Um, I do plan on heading, heading back out um, to the trail uh, this weekend. Um, so as far as planning goes, so the, the sticking point there for a through hike of the Continental Divide Trail is that I, I do not want to use the backstitch method with two cars. That's a little too complicated. I'd have to get them staged out in New Mexico. I'd have to retrieve them from Montana, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the terrain out there sort of doesn't allow you to park your car necessarily at a, at a road crossing um, like it does on the AT. It's not quite as convenient. So that never really has been um, my plan. Um, but I do need to get a vaccination because I do want to get on transit. I want to fly out there. I'll, I'll be taking a shuttle to the southern terminus, for example. So then I need to plan to get the vaccination. And the governor has announced here in the state of Virginia that uh, my category, category two, uh, will open up on April 18th now. Uh, for the entire state. It's possible that uh, certain districts, certain counties, etc., cetera, uh, will go to phase two before then. As soon as they do, um, I'll, I'll drive down to Abingdon. I mean, uh, to get one, uh, to get the first shot um, and, uh, you know, set that timeline to enable uh, my start uh, for the CDT. Um, one other question that has come up, um, and this one is from Ramdino, is do I plan on uh, finishing the AT this year? And my answer to him was, I don't know. Um, I mean, conceivably, I could do a an outside-in flip-flop, you know, starting starting at Georgia, go to some point in the middle where I end up, and then after I do the CDT, start at Katahdin and go south. But that's not currently my plan. I mean, it's an option. Um, if for some reason I can't get a vaccination and I miss the window for the CDT, I mean, I, in theory, I could continue all the way north and I would basically hit the window for a southbound transit of the, of the CDT beginning at Glacier Park 
and um, heading south. The normal start date for uh, a Glacier Park uh, starting point, Sobo, is uh, last week in June. So it kind of work out that way. But I don't think right now that's that's going to be the option that's going to occur with the plan, if you will. So that's kind of uh, what my what my plan is. Um, taking a double zero here at home uh, as far as the near term plan, uh, and so I avoided some of the snow and the cold weather, and so the um, the. The, the weather forecast for the next four or five days is all very positive, sunny, uh, much warmer temperatures. Uh, so it should be pretty cruisy. And I will essentially, uh, by the end of that three or four days, you know, from when I get back on the trail, I will have uh, completed everything to the southern end of the Shenandoah Park. Uh, last fall, I did Shenandoah Park. Um, last summer, I did everything from Northern Virginia all the way to central um, Pennsylvania. So like in the last 365 days, I've done almost all now uh, from the southern terminus up to central Pennsylvania. So we'll see how this plays out. Um, planning is everything, but the plan is nothing. And so one should never get too wed to um, exactly uh, what you put down on paper. But, uh, but you do have to go through the process. Hope everybody's doing well, and I look forward to providing some musings uh, on various things from the trail. Hope you're having a great day.